And that's the Park Plaza Park Hotel. I don't know how much of it is the Park Hotel because there's another institution next door. It only goes up three floors, so they must only have part of this building. And next door, of course, is where this uh, where this building work is taking place. Well, this is room 301 at the Park Plaza Apartment Hotel, as opposed to the Park Plaza Hotel, which is much bigger and further out of town. This is ideally situated in uh, the centre of Santiago. It's quite small and quite difficult to find, so I discovered. Um, it has a big fridge, a freezing compartment, microwave, coffee maker, toaster, kettle, and uh, Stainless steel sink and uh, a little hob. Amazing. And a lot of cut cutlery, so you, you could self cater in here if you wanted to. And this is the, uh, the main room. It's very nice, very spacious. bathroom and it is a bathroom it does have a bath so you get the usual hair dryer and the usual goodies very very clean uh, bath and shower The sealant is all in good condition. There's nothing worse than grubby sealant around a bath or a shower. So yes, so it's very pleasing. And it, and it does have air conditioning. Yeah, that's also an iron and indeed a safe, which is very, very handy. When you get uh, free tea and coffee, but you only get two of those. Sorry, you get one of those and one of those. So you get one cup of coffee and one cup of tea. That's it. The only downside is out the window. Absolutely brilliant, and they're obviously renovating this building next door. So there's all this debris falling down into this little courtyardy place. So yeah, it's a bit of a pain. So yeah, not much in the way of natural daylight in here. This is the middle of the afternoon. There's no dining room in the hotel, so your breakfast is uh, is delivered to your refrigerator sometime during the day. And this is uh, typical. I mean, I've been here. Well, I'm here for four nights. I've been here for three nights, and this is typical of what you get. So you get uh, milk. You get uh, a juice. You get. Uh, Yogurt, and you get a little bowl, a little dish of uh, tinned fruit, and you get one of these granite things. Actually, they're quite nice. And then you get a sandwich. Today, my sandwich is 
Giamo Queso, which is ham and cheese. And there it is. There's no butter. You get a slice of processed cheese. And you get a little thin slice of processed ham and uh, dry white bread. So that's it. <laughs> the sandwiches, I have to say, have been absolutely disgusting. But the rest of it, I could tolerate. But there's no choice. And uh, if you're a big person, <laughs> you better have a breakfast outside somewhere. There are lots of eating places just down the road. But anyway, that's what you get for your breakfast. That's it. It's a bit grim, really. On this side, the left-hand side, just across that junction there, is a big John store. It's like a, a mini market. It's very handy to have because just inside the door, and you can see it there, is a Santander ATM. So I was in this room uh, five days ago for two nights. <laughs> you know, I thought the owners of this place, or the receptionist, or whoever it is, would would have shared the burden of this this building site next door. But no, damn me, they put you in the same bloody room when you come back five nights later. So uh, <laughs> yes, you get a double dose of it. Uh, anyway, you just, you just make a note of it. <laughs> Stick it on YouTube.